Good morning. It is 6.30. I'm just coming up. And then downtown. I am finally back at the studio. I just got my eyelashes done. And they're horrible. I asked the lady for natural. These look natural to you? I look like I'm about to fly away. Anyway, I'm finally here at the studio and I'm doing my Monstera pot. I bought my second Monstera plant. It's been sitting on the floor looking at me sadly for the last three days. My house is a little bit of a mess right now. But what I'm doing here is I'm rolling out some clay. I'm going to finally put my plants are together today. And I'm mainly a hand builder, so I am just making slabs here. I'm rolling out some slabs. So I'm rolling out different ones on this machine here. It's a slab roller. And I just take cuts of clay and roll them through different times until I get them to the thinness that I want. I'm keeping them moist over there on the table. And then I'm going to um, kind of piece them together on the base of this. I want it to be a little bit bigger than this because the clay is going to shrink about 12%. Um, and then I'm going to let it kind of dry up a little bit and put my holes in for drainage and for me to grab onto the side. And I'm going to reinforce. I'm kind of looking now, hoping I have enough clay. This is all the brown paper clay that I have. And I don't think they sell brown paper clay here. I have some brown bee mix, but I really don't want to mix clay types because I don't know if they will um, dry at the same rate and I don't want anything to explode in the kiln right so yeah that's what I'm gonna do I'm making all my slabs first and then I have some this is dried paper clay and I'm gonna use this to make kind of like a little slurry that's gonna hold my clay together I really like paper clay this is a really good it's like I haven't been here in a while and this clay is still really nice and soft um, it's really easy to work with and easy to come back to so that's what I'm doing right now I'm hoping to get a lot of work done before anybody else gets here and then I'm gonna go to the flower market because I'm in downtown I'm feeling good it took me 15 minutes to unlock the door here but I'm feeling good now <laughs> oh my gosh okay anyway I'm gonna get back to work cutting my clay and I will I'm gonna hopefully finish the whole bit today so I can start drying so I'll show you the finished piece uh, hopefully in an hour or so. <laughs> Six hours later. So, it is now almost 1.30 and I am drinking a mimosa out of a coffee cup for some reason. Uh, well, the reason I'm drinking a mimosa is because I had a crappy morning. The reason that it's in a coffee cup is I have no idea. I did say that I was going to show you uh, my piece at the end of me working on it. I don't know why I thought I was going to take an hour um, to make my planter because I do usually hand build, but I usually hand build smaller pieces and uh, not pottery. And I've been here, I got here at like 6.30, it's now almost 1.30. And I have nothing to show. My piece just not would not come together. Um, I tried building it using something as a size template then I tried to build it a different way then I tried to build it a different I literally tried four different ways to build this piece and it just did not work out okay it just didn't it just didn't come together um it just didn't come together and this place um this studio that I'm going to they don't have a lot of the same stuff that my old studio had so like my old studio had a little I don't know, it's like a, a drying closet, so you can put your um, clay that was still kind of soft into the closet and just let it get a little, a little bit drier, which is what you need to work with slabs, which is what I was trying to do. You can't work with super soft slab of clay. You're trying to like build something and it's flopping over, so you need to get, let it get a little, start to get a little hard, um, and they don't have that machine here, um, like the drying thing, so you just have to wait 
um, which is what I was trying to do. And then they also don't have a clay extruder, so you can't extrude coils. So I was like trying to hand roll coils out. It was a, it was a disaster. It was an absolute disaster. I tried to get here really early before people got here, and I was only here for half an hour before someone showed up. And I was like, okay, people get here early, great. I know that for later. I wanted to get here at like four in the morning. But then, what is that? Were they building something, or should I run? What is that? Okay, anyway. trying to think whether or not I want another mimosa. I kind of do, but at the same time for the $8 I spent for this, I can go get some champagne and some orange juice. I'm just in such a bad mood right now. I'm trying to recalibrate, but so now I'm going to go home. I'm going to work on several YouTube videos that are half filmed and unedited and also some behind the scenes business stuff and I have to pay my bills and a whole bunch of other nonsense. I'd also like to uh, bring attention to my hands. I don't know if you can see. Look at how my hands are perpetually destroyed because of clay, we're just coming out of winter, my hands have been so dry because of winter, plus compulsive COVID hand washing. And basically, if you rub my hands together fast enough, you could start a fire. So, that's just a side note.